Hi, my name is Madiha, and I work at the New York Hall of Science, teaching science to children just like you. Today, we're going to be making our very own slime. Join me as we mix three simple ingredients, glue, water, and liquid starch to make our own slime. Let's get started. First, let's like, take a look at what we'll need. We'll need a container, liquid starch, glue, water, measuring cups like quarter cup and half cup, and a spoon, and some optional items, color, glitter, and sequins. First, we're gonna grab our container and put in Elmer's clear glue. You can also use white glue if that's what you have. We're gonna grab our half a cup and fill that all the way up. So we're putting in half cup of glue into our container. And as we pour it, you'll notice that some of the glue can get stuck in the half cup. And that's why we're gonna grab a spoon and scrape all of it out because we want all of the glue to be in our bowl. Sometimes it can be hard to scrape the sides, but once we use a spoon, it kind of makes it a little easier. And we're gonna put in some water. So we're actually gonna use the same measurement, half a cup. So we're gonna fill it all the way up to the top and add our half cup of water into our bowl. Now the next thing that we're gonna have to do is mix these two together using a spoon. You can use your hands too, but for this step I'm using a spoon. And you'll notice that as you are mixing them together, it'll feel a little hard because you're using glue and it's a little sticky. So we'll mix the two together and as we do that, we're gonna try our best to make sure that the mixture is fully combined. So you'll see I'm gonna mix for quite some time. Mixing is fun. Now, we are going to add our color. I'm gonna make mine blue. I wonder what color yours will be. So I'm gonna put in a couple of drops of blue watercolor. Blue. So we're gonna mix it and mix it so it can properly be the color we want it to be. So we're combining and you'll feel that it's a little tough, but not too bad. You see, it looks like Looks a little like jelly, but you can see the blue a little bit better in the spoon because the bowl is yellow, so it's looking lighter than it actually is. But that's okay. We know that our color is going to be blue. I'm gonna add a little bit more just to get a little bit more pigment. And um, you can also use food coloring if you like to make it. And we're gonna keep mixing it all together and we're gonna actually add a little bit more. So we're going to add some glitter. I'm gonna use silver glitter and add it into our mixture. You can use glitter if you like too, but you don't have to. So we're gonna mix that all together, all nice. And then I also have some sequins. And they're snowflakes. So I'm gonna grab some sequins. And again, this is something that you can do if you like, but you don't have to add any sequins whatsoever. This is just gonna add a little bit of a different feeling in our slime as we play with it later. And it also looks really cool. <clears throat> so I sprinkled some 
snowflakes into our mixture. And I'm gonna mix it once again. Wow, look at that blue. And look, I can see all the snowflakes with the silver glitter. I wonder how yours looks. Now, after we've mixed this all together, next step, which is adding a quarter cup of liquid starch. Liquid starch is what is going to activate our slime and really get it to the texture and feeling that we want. So we're gonna fill in the quarter cup all the way up and then we're going to add in our liquid starch into our mixture. So as we add it, you'll notice right away how it's going to change. Now, using the spoon, I'm mixing it together. And I already feel how hard it is to actually mix it. And you can see that it's becoming um, stickier and stickier and it's becoming a little bit more solid than it was before. And as I mix it, it's becoming more and more combined and really getting our slime to get to where we want it to be. Now this part is gonna require a lot of mixing because we wanna make sure that our mixture is fully combined. What that means is that when we are mixing, we're gonna make sure that all of the pieces or all of the liquid that we see is in our slime. So that's why you have to keep mixing. Gotta be a little patient for this part because it requires a lot of mixing. And But you see, it's working out nice because it's already starting to connect, become slimy, squishy. And I'm gonna use my hands now because I really wanna get all of the pieces of or parts of liquid that is left. See, as I use my hands, it makes it a little bit easier for me to get all of the solution together. Now it's becoming stickier and stickier and squishier and squishier. And the more that I use my hand to grab all of it together and mix it all together, the texture is getting less and less stickier. As I'm squishing it and molding and playing with it, I can feel all of the little teeny tiny bubbles that actually form inside while I'm mixing. Pop! Now we're gonna take a minute and actually just squish, play, and mold and listen to the sounds that we hear. Wow, look at how stretchy our slime is getting and how much we can pull it. Let's see how far we can. Wow. So far. Oh, yeah, and it can break too, which is perfectly fine because when we put it back together, it'll be one piece again. Wow, that was so much fun to make. Thank you for joining me in making our very own slime today. I can't wait to play with it. I had so much fun. I hope you did too. Bye.